What they both did to Thomas is outright wrong and what they will do to Harry will destroy him totally. Doria and Meghan are con artists the worst kind. Aristocrat Lady Colin Campbell weighed in on these allegations and accusations against Meghan Markle and Doria Ragland. Her claims were made during a YouTube appearance, and go on to dish over Markle and her mother's alleged intentions towards Harry. Recently, Lady C actually referenced an arrest and court case number for Doria, with the caveat that it may be the story, a Ragland. It was Doria Ragland who convinced Meghan to accuse the British press and, by proxy, the British readers of discrimination. She was also the one who publicly shared Thomas Markle in an interview, accusing him of capitalizing on Meghan's newfound fame. Doria brazenly boasts, I'm ready to have my voice heard, that's for sure. Doria described Meghan as an old soul and a straight-A student. She raised her in Los Angeles and shared custody with her ex-husband, Thomas Markle. However, in fact, she disappeared during Meghan's childhood, and only Thomas paid all the expenses for Meghan. Thomas was completely exploited and used by these two. They're always looking for new hosts to attach themselves to. According to Lady C. Meghan and her mother treated Thomas Markle like some sort of piggy bank. So much so that she believed Doria was only with Mr. Markle for his money, and the weed she could buy from that chunk. Lady C even went as far as to accuse Doria of using Mr. Markle's other children and said when she was married to Thomas Markle, she tried to marginalize his other children, according to them and their father. Lady C also went on to reveal that Samantha has said she came to despise Doria when she realized all Doria wanted from Thomas's money. By the end, many believed Doria would to camp for days to a place that had a lot of weed. For those unversed, these accusatory claims have come in response to Doria's past as an absent parent, and how she allegedly was gone for ten years of her daughter's life, leaving Thomas Markle to foot the bill. She's got a nerve to use that as a parent. Where was she for ten years of her own child's life? The source from Lady C said that there are more serious things in Doria's background that have been covered up by Buckingham Palace via the intelligence service, so as not to embarrass the royal family. Doria has nine million in her account suddenly. Doria was there when her own father dies from falling twice with a dog lead tangled around his legs caused a deadly brain injury. Doria's cut her sibling out of the inheritance somehow getting her father's one million dollar house. People don't disappear for years due to a small fraud charge. The British royal family must be horrified when they found out more about Meghan and a drug-dealing mother. They must be really anxious about things right now because King Charles was highly concerned when he learned that his son was using illegal substances in his teenage years. Rumor has it that the royal family isn't going to release any of the information they have on Doria. That's not their style. Despite that not being their style because they have class, if that information is released, people will still blame the royal family. So keeping this all tucked away really isn't in the best interests. Doria is still the grandmother of Archie and Lilibet, and everything released about the family will always come back to haunt them. However, once the divorce happens, I wouldn't be surprised if other sources release the information about her. But at that point, the royal family won't automatically be accused of sharing the information. Whatever happens or has happened leaves the trail. Such trails are either paper or electronic, and with such trails, human memories that are priceless.